Hey Brewers, it's Friday. Welcome back. I missed you. What are we gonna talk about today? Well, we're gonna talk about getting fucked up, but like, who likes to get fucked up with dirty beer lines? Makes your beer kind of cloudy, makes it taste a little metallic. I mean, you still get fucked up, but it's just not as good. We like good beer around here. We like beer the way it's supposed to be tasted, the way it was crafted. Okay, number one, especially for all you pro drinkers out there, if you got a kegerator at home, you probably got one of these suckers. This is a Sankey D connector. Pretty much any beer made in North America in a commercial Sankey keg, this is what you're gonna have. There are some other styles. How do you clean this thing? It's a pretty sealed kind of unit, right? And we've got some fancy, we got some fancy things on here. Uh, so this is for our duotite fittings. We got a certain type of hosing that we use for that. You can easily have the standard fitting that probably came with your kegerator like that. And then this, is a ball lock connector. So like most of us home brewers, we use ball lock or pin lock kegs. So we don't wanna have to take our ball lock connector off, cut our hose down by a few inches, just so we can put the hose on our standard tailpiece, that guy right there. So what we've done is we've replaced our tailpiece with a ball lock connector, and then we can use it with our ball lock system that we like. See, boom, right, simple. Beautiful invention, makes me want to buy some beers sometimes instead of just making it all the time, support some of our local breweries out there. We've got a lot of friends in that industry, uh, ourselves included. <laughs> so, how do we fucking do this, Brad? All right, so, you know, you got to lock down. First, you want to unlock it, boom. And then there's, this is really actually really easy. So we're going to take this part. And so right, right here, I've got some PBW water. Uh, this is two liters, so we mixed in a half a tablespoon of PBW in some nice hot water, not too hot. It's pretty, pretty hot. Um, and then there's this valve. It's got a really fancy name, but I forget what it is. So this prevents backflow into our... Oh yeah, but that's rank. Like, we, we definitely need to clean that. You don't want to lose that, though. Bloop, into the water. Then we take off our tail pieces. Tail piece. All right, what I should have done. Taking this apart. Uh, you know what? We don't need to take that apart. We got it all together. We'll just throw our neoprene washer, our tailpiece. So this is an MFL universal tailpiece. So this can go with our duo tight fittings, or it can also go quarter inch for your standard Bevlex tubing. If you have like a kegerator, a Danby, or something you bought, this is what you're gonna want right here is this MFL fitting instead of this duo tight fitting. So I throw that in. There's like something that looks like grass in there, like or like spider legs or something. Look at that. Nasty. And here I am about to use this to transfer some beer for our lovely cameraman, Travis. He can't have that. He needs the quality shit. That's what he does this for. No, he does it because he loves us. Then to take this off, there's just this nut right here. It's already pretty loose. Actually, I don't even need to lock that on. So it's boop. We'll screw that, we'll drop that in there too, why not? So then, this just slides right off. You can see there's a bit of a channel here, and there's a bit of a channel here. So that's how it goes right through. And then there's like these little, I don't know if you can see that, there's these kind of like round sections on here. So those round sections is what locks into this flat section, okay? And that's how we lift it up and down. So now that we've got our handle off, may as well toss that in there too. Do we pull or do we push? I don't remember. We definitely push. There we go. So then we pull that out. Why aren't you coming all the way out? Oh no, I was wrong, we pull. So we, <laughs> so we take that off. It's another neoprene washer. There we go. Turn and pull, beauty. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't smell very good. So now we've got our, we can see all the way through. So we're just gonna soak that. Now, you've got this tube here. So you can see there's a ball, that's our backflow liquid ball. And it, until I pushed it, it was actually kind of stuck there. And that's a big problem when these things get dirty. Like now you can, you can hear the ball moving, but it was stuck there. I had to stab it, stabby, stabby. And then there's this little peace sign airplane looking thing. That will also come out if we give it a little persuasion. Not that we really needed to. There we go. Boom. So very important. The ball goes in. Then, when we're putting it back together, then the airplane goes in. The TIE fighter. It's kind of like a TIE fighter. <laughs> it's not really like a TIE fighter. Come on. 
geeks, what kind of what kind of spaceship does that look like? It's not really my thing. Anyway, if you reverse the order of these things, you will have big problems and you won't know why. But we'll get to that when we're putting it back together. So boom, boom, and boom. And we'll let that soak for five, 10 minutes and we'll give it a good spray off, good rinse, put it back together and that's it. It's important to do that at least every couple kegs. If you're keeping it like wet all the time as in you have beer connected that's moving all the time. But like the second that thing sits without a keg or it sits on an empty keg for any length of time, even a week, it's time to clean it. As you can see, it's really not that hard. We're gonna let this soak for five, 10 minutes. We're gonna give it a spray off and then we'll show you how to put it back together. See you in a minute. All right. A little sippy poo. It's been about 10 minutes. That PBW is some strong stuff, doesn't take long. So we're gonna pull this out. I'm gonna give it a little brush. I've got some clean water here and then we're gonna star sand our parts before we put them back together. So this is just, they call this a, what do they call this? Uh, come on, airlock brush. But uh, as you can see, fits that real nice. Get in those, oh yeah, that's a nasty spot right there. It's like brushing your teeth. Boom, okay, rinse, and into our clean water. Oh, a little over full there. We'll give this a brush anyway, just to be thorough, but not really necessary. And then our ball lock connector. You can also take these apart, pull the poppets out. There's a weird little clip inside there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, I'm not gonna bother doing that today. Maybe we'll do another video on that, because that looks like a bit of a pain in the butt to get that clip out and in again. This guy, this is where this is really, oh yeah, perfect size. Threads, that's up. This is all coming real nice and clean. Oh, we can even get that into our duo tight fitting. Can we get it out? Oh shit. <laughs> all right, gotta love these things. Put it back together. B U T. All right, better rinse. And all our little bits. What I thought was, it's just a little bit of a piece of rubber coming off of there. Yes, we're gonna star sand it again, okay. <laughs> and just give that all a wipe, give her a little ball a wipe. This thing has a cool name, I should have looked up what it is. It's, it's actually a pretty important piece. Okay, so drop those all in there. Oh, that's hot, okay, all right. I don't know why I'm star sanding this, but I'm doing it anyway. So as far as replacing the ball and the little airplane spaceship thing, we can do it now. We can do it when it's in. We'll do it now anyway. But. This is why I like to use a stainless steel table. That way I star sand this table before I start and we can keep everything nice and sanitary even though it's sitting on a table. And like these stainless steel tables, if you're in Winnipeg, I picked this up at Princess Auto for like 200 bucks. We've got a couple of them here at the shop. Thanks to my good buddy, Scott Gable over at uh, Princess Auto for that one. Boom. Put this mother back together. All right, so down, little ball, boom. Little spaceship, little peace sign, whatever you want to call it, boom. It's the same both ways, by the way, that little thing, so whichever way you put it in is fine. Now we put that through here. Hello, there we go. All right, now it's this one that goes on here. Gotta watch you don't mix these up because they're similar but not the same. Eh. Pull that up as far as we can go. Put that guy on there. I feel like I'm doing like some military shit. Like how fast can you assemble an M16 and under fire? You know, like. <laughs> how fast can you clean a Sankey keg when there's a hundred thirsty customers out there? Neoprene washer on the, on the top. We put our 
valve in. And then this guy has its own washer built in. And that's it, ladies and germs. It's beer time. We're gonna go use this to shoot a transfer video because sometimes you want, you can only buy a big keg, but you want a selection. A kegerator only has room for say two or three ball lock kegs, but you get a 50 liter Sankey and now you're out of space. Unacceptable. Don't get too fucked up. We'll see you next time.